I will go on floor. Will be BIMM. The team from BIMM. Come on. Sai, we are ready with this. You have to run up. You can't be thinking. Okay, quickly. If it exceeds three seconds, yeah, you can open the chit right here. One minute. The mic. Where's the mic? One. Give the mic in her hand. Give the mic in her hand. Hello. Is this ready? You don't have to stop. As soon as you have to run up. Okay. Audience, can we applaud BMM going for extempore? Come on. Run. And announce your topic and then start. Go, go quickly. Quickly. Three. To start. Good afternoon to one and all. My topic for my extempore is Google search enhancing knowledge or killing creativity. Well, as we know in today's world of social media, Google is playing a great role and hence a great search web engine. Hence, I believe Google is enhancing a lot of talent in this today's media world. Google is one of the most useful search engines which everyone uses, be it a teenager, be it a children, or be it anyone else. We all use Google for several things. Hence, I believe Google is enhancing a lot of talent and creativity. Hence, Google is not killing creativity in all in one. But at the same time, people over here are spending a lot of time on social networks, the media, and the uh, sites where people surf. Day and night, people surf Google, various sites, and hence it kills a lot of time. But at the same time, Google creates a great knowledge for them and as a part of uh, uh, creativity and as a part of uh, the knowledge uh, and the information people are getting google plays an important role in the same place google is being one of the most uh, uh, search engines which is being used by each and every one of us it is always useful in the corporate life and the personal lives as well where people surf google for a lot of information hence in every corporate citizen and corporate life google is playing an important role Google is being used by each and every one of us for accessing various information and various ideas. Hence, Google is always being useful to each and every one of us. Even I, being an MBA student, if either acquiring any uh, knowledge, I have been always using Google to get the knowledge or the information for the same, be it anything. Google has been playing an important role for the same. Therefore, every corporate citizens, big MNCs and companies have been using Google as a search tool engine for their various strategies, planning, promotion, etc. At the same time, Google is being created as a search engine which kills creativity where people spend their lot of time and hence it is being harming a lot of uh, time and efforts of people at the same time. Therefore, at the same time, Google is being useful to all of us in various ways. I conclude in the same manner that Google is useful, but yes, it should be used in a proper limit and hence utilized usefully. Thank you. BIB. Quickly the mic. Hand upon hand to the mic first. Check the mic. Check the mic. Hello. Okay. All right. Okay, run, 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 come on. Uh, BIB for extempore three, two, you will have to begin. Read the topic and begin. Good evening. Good evening, one and all. Well, my topic for today, extempore, is liquor's test buster or destroyers. Well, as we all know, that liquor is really very, very harmful for health. Being an ex-bio student, I know it very clearly that liver causes a lot of problems in our digestive system and other systems of our body. When we consume liquor, slowly our lungs and other parts of the body start deteriorating. Whenever liquor is consumed, it passes through our mouth via our, uh, our, via our canals and it reaches our stomach where it causes, where it tries, reacts with other acids of the stomach and it causes a lot of problem over there and it not only deteriorates the different muscles and the 
other parts of the body it also kills the important bacteria and different enzymes present into our body liquor is uh, according to the latest data in india about 70% people are consum consuming liquor every day which is very very harmful for them and on the other hand if liquor is consumed at a very very high rate that is if more than a glass or two of liquor is consumed that is about 750 ml it will be very very harmful for us and i have an example for it i uh, uh, it has been 2 uh, to 3 months ago my own father uh, my uh, own uh, we, all, you, we used to call him chachu he was a relative of mine and he expired due to consum consuming liquor and uh, it was uh, he had uh, cancer due to consumption of liver he had he had cancer and other uh, slowly his body started uh, the other parts of his body also started paralyzing and lastly he was dead last 3 uh, months ago hence it can be concluded that liquor is very very harmful for health and hence it should be avoided thank you very well done biv we have the team from bim hrd for the extemper for rishi come on bim hrd check the mic check the mic okay Okay. Yeah. Go, go, go. Run, 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 run. Come on. Bimhi Chaudhary going on stage. 3 2 You have to start. What a relevant topic to be given today. Mobiles are connecting. Uh, for me, I will read the topic first. Uh, mobiles are connecting or disconnecting society. From my sense, mobiles are very well connecting each other. We are, they propose this. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, right? The many proposals went on phone. Many proposals of having contact went on phone why not how why, we should evolve as humans we evolve every time we need a distant the last before it was coconuts right we speak from coconuts to coconuts with the strings attached why not mobile mobile on a contrary note is also bad because the relationship between share with each other is bad too let's decide who is better mobiles or having talk to or having talk in front of each other mobile is also lead to a lot of connecting problems if you're not connected if you're shut off shut down then people usually think that you're avoiding somebody but that's not the case it is always something different why not we think of something else which is more pro predominant in our nature why do we always have to contemplate things which we evolved through us we are humans we i think we have found mobile and why are we trying to discourage the things which we have found i think evol evolution is the only key to move on and on mobile in other context i would like to say this that mobile usage even a youth of who is 15 year old and in a person 9 year old uses it with same efficiency but why so because it is easier to connect it is easier for me to understand others idea where they are at what place it is reducing crimes you are saying because it, there's a there's a nature there's a mobile app which has come in for women any time if you want to if you're in trouble just press the shut down button two times and it will give a beep to all the relatives of yours isn't that impeccable about it having the delhi rape case scan why do you think that happened if the girl was well aware of that app i think we should have both everything has a pros and cons as an evolution we should stand up here and vouch for our evolutions and not say this is bad or this is right we evolute we evolute and we will evolve to the end and we will find a way out which is a brighter society thank you and thank you very much very well done bimmi chadi now the team from bitm bitm can we applaud check your mic hello Okay you have to go go you have to run 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 you running running now 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 yeah yeah come on come on come on come on come on come on three two you have to go on stage and you have to start and give your topic firstly i would like to say a very good afternoon to all one and all present here i'm sharvari kulkarni representing bitm 
My topic for today is silent hours helps or disables. I definitely feel silent hours do helps as our own Bala sir says to maintain silent hours from from uh, from 10 o'clock or maybe 9 o'clock it is very it is very useful and it is very helpful that we should maintain silent hours it helps you relax it helps you to concentrate better it helps you to have a good sleep and it helps you not to disturb others too I definitely don't feel that silent that maintaining silent hours disables anything because while for mankind peace is very important and peaceful night peaceful sleep is really important because it helps you concentrate it helps you um, it helps you um, um, it helps you to uh, it helps you to uh, start with a good, uh, start with a fresh morning, with a fresh new day, and think and think openly for each and everything, and especially for student managers like us pursuing PGDM courses. Silent, uh, maintaining silent hours is a very, very important thing, and and when expert people like Dr. Balas Subramanian say say such things, we should really go and work on it because. Because we have always learned in a, from from our childhood that expert people are those who give you who give you the gyan, and it helps us really in in our life. And I would I, and I would also like to implement a lot of a lot of things which I which I have learned here to to be carried forward in the future also. Henceforth, I would like to conclude that silent hours, maintaining silent hours, and being prompt in maintaining them, and 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 even asking others to perform the same, and even asking others to do the same is our duty. And henceforth, I would like to conclude. Thank you. BITM, very one, well done. That's our end of round one. That's one round one end. Before we begin the round two, I would want the BIB MADADS team to come in for their topic. The BIB MADADS team, quickly come in. BIB MADADS team. Pull out your topic. Ivy. Jokes. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, Ivy, all the best. Check your mic. Check your mic. It okay. works. Round two, extempo, that's B I M M. Run, 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 run. Three, two, say the topic and My start. Goodness, I hope, I wish that I was a part of AAP, that is Aam Admi Party, because the topic that, ha that my luck has bestowed upon me is Arvind Kejriwal, a disaster. And thanks to the ED sessions that our Balaso so much stresses on, that today the news came that Arvind Kejriwal has finally resigned as the Chief Minister of Delhi. Absolutely. Thank you, Bala sir, for having the DT sessions again. I would just like to say that he had the conviction, at least we all thought so. And he had the vision, at least we thought so. And since I recollect my days from the GD that I gave for, to come into this prestigious institution, I remember that Bala sir who himself gave the topic that is Arvind Kejriwal a cape crusader or a problem to the society. And that time, I definitely. Uh, tried to uphold him as the person he was because yes i believed in him and today up till yesterday in uh, yesterday night i still believed that political thing but while we were having dinner i with my friends late in the night that time we were struck with a lightning bolt and that was the resignation of arvind kejriwal something that was not expected i i, I agree that his jan lokpal bill is quite a good thing and it would help us curb the the corruption from the country it would help a lot many things as well that would put uh, uh, put in motion many the wheels of fortune for the country of India. But still, is this the way to deal with such problems? Is this the way that the, for the cause that you are trying to uphold 
and trying to uh, reform a whole country and if that cause is not accepted by a few people, a handful of people, is this the way that you turn your back towards the country, towards the people who supported you? I think all of us know over here that many IS officers, many top executives, many high corporate personalities, stalwarts, have resigned their post to join the AAP, that is the Aam Army Party. That is, they, they preferred that they would leave their post and go down to the level of the Aam Aadmi Party because they believe that Aam Aadmi is the best army to be. And since the constitution states that it is for the people, by the people and of the people, I think Arvind Kejriwal is definitely a disaster. And I would wish that this timer stops right now because I have a lot many more to say. But unfortunately, since it's an extempo, and I, have, I don't know how a person can say so many things about such a big disaster in just three minutes to go. Thank you. All right, Suresh, you'll have to run. Team, move out. Move out, move out, move out. <laughs> Three, two, good, all right. Good, ev good evening, everyone. Already being in a competition, normally the heart beats faster. But our dimple ma'am asks us to run, run, run. And it's even more beating faster. Thanks, ma'am. And then let's go to our topic. Topic for today is money is more important than ethics. Wow, what a topic to begin. As we all hear, we are here for money. That's the basic thing. But if once you get into the company, the first thing the company says is that there are some ethics in this company you should follow. They are, they are the persons who provide you with money and attract you people to work for them. And they are the same people who say that you have to follow certain ethics. Why it is so? Like every coin, there are two, two faces, head and a tail. For the same topic here, there are two faces. We will discuss both the faces. First, money. When it comes to money, money is one of the most encouraging factor when as being an Indian and being brought up in India, money is a major role. When it comes to middle class, below poverty line or even a richer class, everyone wants to earn more and become huge in life. Just to have money, be in safe money. As economy says, we, we have to spend to become a good economy. But we never do that. We spend on gold, we keep in our cash houses and we'll never spend which is a major flaw in our economy. We can't blame people. It's, it's about the people who are in the higher place have to help the people who are in the lower place. But that doesn't happen in our economy. The thing is that even the government, the people who have been elected by the pe people who want to run the government are even keen for money rather than service. There are two sectors like private, public and service. Here, each sector wants to do a certain set of jobs which are meant as ethics. If you see ethics in a private, they have to earn money, earn money, earn money. The thing is that they want to run a business irrespective of whatever it is. When it comes to reliance, even in this reason, Jan Lokpal, if you see, the case is being filed against the reliance chairman. chairman. The, 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 that is the major issue. If you see, all the big top persons are behind money. The thing is that as an individual, Everyone has to have some ethics that we should not rob or ruin the lives of other individuals. That is the most important ethics that every individual has to carry rather than being following up with money. Money is a bypasser or a car which takes you to a place where you can be ethical. The thing is that everyone being ethical is everyone's right and everyone's right doing. And being ethical develops a person by himself rather than earning lots and lots of money. Thank you. Ah, very good. Run, run, run. Come on. Echadi. And Echadi goes for extempo. Three, two. You have to start. Say your topic and start. Yeah, uh, I don't think I even need to open this right now because the topic is Narendra Modi, right? Uh, raise of hands who here loves Narendra Modi. And raise your uh, raise of hands how many of you don't? No, it's hating or criticizing Narendra Modi's policies does not necessarily mean you are anti-national. Now, raise of hands how many of them don't like Narendra Modi? The reason behind hating the person Narendra Modi is because <coughs> what he does is 
It's all PR publicity. That's what everybody says. Narendra Modi is the biggest public relations exercise this country has ever seen. Now, how many of you would agree with the statement? Sure, thank you. Narendra Modi epitomizes PR. The way marketing is done in Narendra Modi's campaign, arranging chaiwalas just because he was a chaiwala when he was growing up. How romantic an idea is that? Don't we all think? And Narendra Modi might have done something in Gujarat. Yes, he's done. He's been elected three times over, but essentially it all comes down to perception. How do people perceive the person Narendra Modi? There are two very different images of Narendra Modi, the person, or the enigma many, many people call. <coughs> Narendra Modi epitomizes development. Narendra Modi epitomizes change. Narendra Modi maybe epitomizes an anti-corrupt movement which Aadmi Party focused on, but they couldn't quite achieve it. How could Narendra Modi run the government that he's doing? He basically followed the model of China. He gave the power back to the companies. There was very little red tape in, companies, in starting a company in Gujarat. That's how many people got to start companies in Gujarat. And they could in turn provide employment. That's how uh, Gujarat grew at the rate it, it did. Now, one could always say that Narendra Modi is a polarizing figure in Indian political scenario. He is polarizing. Why not? He's not even accepted that there was a partial role of his government in the 2002 Gujarat riots. Now the courts might have given him a clean shit. We all knew what happened with the courts. They have given him a clean shit. But when it comes to uh, women empowerment, when it comes to malnutrition levels, Gujarat still ranks low. It's not even in the top five. The latest study done by our uh, esteemed governor of Reserve Bank of India, Mr. Raghuram Rajan, has placed Gujarat as the seventh developed state in India. Now is that something which Everybody knows. It's a point to ponder about. Try to cut the bandwagon. Try to think about Narendra Modi the person. With that thought, I leave it to you. Thank you. Three, two, and your time starts. Good afternoon, all of you. My name is Nikhil Jaikumar, and I'm representing BITM. I'd just like to ask one question. How many of you like to bathe? Bathe and come to college, be hygienic. How many of you? All right, all right. I was in my room, I was in my room before I came to this auditorium. And uh, I was in the washroom. And I was in the middle of a very, very important work. And unfortunately, the water from the tap stopped coming. What to do? Boy, oh boy, I was in a predicament. I didn't know what to do, whom to ask for help. I didn't know where to go. And what I did was, I started tapping my hand underneath the pipeline to at least get some drops of water, but my attempt was totally a failure. I was helpless. And the only sound I could hear was the sound of like a desert wind coming in. I didn't know what to do. I was standing like there, like a statue for almost 10 minutes, waiting patiently, and finally, finally the water came in. I was so relieved, I... I, I didn't know I could, whether I would be able to make it to the auditorium or not, but somehow I made it. The reason, I love this college. Yes, institutions are meant for education and not placements is my topic. I love this institution because it doesn't give you the kind of, you know, I mean, it gives you the kind of exposure that you want. Yes, this institute is not a placement agency. It is for education. When you go out after two years, I'm sure that each one of you sitting over here would scintillate with knowledge. And if you have knowledge within you, excellence would follow you, and placements would follow you, and money will follow you. This is what I believe in Sri Balaji Society. And yes, Sri Balaji Society is an example of an institute which totally, totally believes in imparting good quality education and not running a placement agency. Yes. All right. There are institutes which also follow the same principle, but, but the kind of education that we get over here is unparalleled, unmatched. Do you guys agree? Yes. Thank you very much. PITM, that was wonderful. Very well done. Very well done. Can we applaud guys in the center? Come on. 
we are coming to the Drishti Extempore round. We completed the Drishti Extempore event. The results are getting compiled. The results are getting compiled. So, audience, you have some opinion for the Extempore results? IB, okay, they say IB. Okay, BIMM. BITM, okay, BMHRD, brilliant. So you promised to applaud when I announce the results. Irrespective of the position, you are going to applaud because it takes a lot to get on stage and talk like that, right? So I want each one of you in the audience to put your hands together and cheer for the participants, irrespective of the college. Brilliant. Not like this here. Yeah. Points is the team from BIIB. Come on. You promised me you're going to applaud. I want to hear. Brilliant BIIB. That was very well done. At the third position with two points is the team from it is the team from BIM HRD. Come on, let's applaud the team from BIM HRD. Here, everybody here. Come on, BIM HRD. Come on, applaud. Applaud your team. And, and now, and now, and you have to promise me the middle section. You got to keep clapping like this after I announce this. Yes. All right. So put your hands together for BIMM at the second position. Let's applaud, let's applaud everybody. Okay, here, yeah, look here and clap. Swati, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Look here and clap, come on. And, and, and the winner, and the winner for the extempore competition for the issue 2014 with four points is the team from BITM. BITM. Very well done. Congratulations.